Hello guys, what is up? This is RJ, and this is some StarCraft 2 commentary. Well, more like analysis this game, because this is one of my own games, so I would like to just go over what I thought at the moment. And some feedback from you guys would be really great, because most of you know I'm bronze, I'm not that good, but this is one of my better games on the ladder today. And I thought I might as well record it, because I thought it was a good game. Why not? So let's introduce my opponent, Pedro del Agua. This is Pedro from the water. That's what it says in Spanish. And this is Metalopolis. We are spawning close air. And what I... I just open up standardly, you know. 10, 10 depot, 12 racks, 13 refinery. <laughs> uh, some funny banter going on. This is my favorite map, I have to say. I love this map. I'm so glad they brought this map back. Because when I when I played in, like, Season 2, whenever I played this map, I'd, like, always win. I got, like, my first placement match win. I, I won on this map, and because I won on this map, I got to, like, silver when I really should not have. Because I'm not, I'm not that good. Most of you guys know I'm in bronze. And bronze players generally suck. So I do send out my scout at 14, or 13. I used to just send it out at 9, but I'm like, well, that's too early. It sacrifices my economy for, what, some scout information that really isn't that useful? Because when you scout at 9, it's so hard to tell what your enemy is doing, unless it's like Zerg. Because then you can just tell if they're going like 6 pool, if they have, if they already have their pool up, or if, they ha if they're going like fast expand. So what happens here? I see this pylon at the bottom. Because I see this pylon, I know he's going to fast expand. Because then why else would he put this pylon here? I see that the gateway is almost done, so I know that he he's fairly, fairly standard. Doing good. And then let's continue. I go over here with my SCV. I see that he has taken no gas yet. So I know he's not going to do some like really crazy tech play. Like, no DTs or no... Col early Colossus. And back at my base, I start out with one Rax, and I just I, I just queue up here, so I can just build a bunker later and protect myself from like some early zealot pressure. <laughs> like, I spam. Spam shift. So I'm, I'm still going around, doing some scouting. I have my first Marine. I'm getting another Rax. I do get my Orbital slightly late, because I'm just a little busy focusing on here. I see this, how fast how cybernetics core is it's not done yet which means it's really prone to early pressure because his warp gate won't be in soon so that's when i decide to attack move out with these two marines now i don't do s too much damage to these two marines i just i just try to poke in do see what i can do i do end up taking out this probe i am building i decide to build three racks why three racks well his warp gate isn't going to be there soon, and I know he's fast expanding, so if I just... So, three racks aggression would be a good counter to this. So, I send out my two marines. They're heading on their way. I don't notice this probe, though. I'm not sure if I take that out. So, I'm just focus firing on the zealot, trying to just go back in and out. Attacking that pylon. Yeah, see, I don't manage to take out of that probe. Sucks. I'm focus firing on that pylon, because if I do that, it'll delay his warp gate research even more. And it's so much weaker than that cybernetic score. I'm trying to micro around. I don't do too good of a job. I leave I leave this marine here to fire while these run away, but they still end up dying and those two zealots are still alive. I have more marines on the way. I have these two marines just sitting here because I forgot to queue them up. Uh, I don't have any add-ons, I don't have any tech, I'm, like, if this fails, I'm really behind. So I'm betting a lot that it works. So I realize that these marines are sitting here idly, I build a, build a tech lab, I build a factory, just so I can transition out of it in case it doesn't work. So he's still not getting his, cyber, or his warp gate research from a cybernetic score, he has, he's building three more gateways, I'm not sure why he doesn't start that up. He hasn't, like, he told me at the end of the game that he hasn't played in a while, but still. Generally, you know that you have to get your cybernetic score up fast and your warp gate research up fast unless you're, 
unless you're doing forge fast expand, which he's not. So he's just building zealots out of these bases. I'm trying to micro. I have more marines now, so I'm actually going to be able to do some more damage. I almost get that zealot. If I was just a little bit faster, I could have gotten that earlier. He's going back in, and I just. Ooh, yeah, that was terrible stuff. I think I was just back here trying to set up my. Set up some more stuff. Back here, I still have my marines. I'm doing a lot of damage. Resources lost were actually even, so I haven't done that much, but I'm putting pressure on him, making him panic, because most bronze players, they're not they're not good with stress. Like at right now my like at this moment my heart was beating. I was like doing my best. I do get out the Marauder. The Marauder is so helpful. I have another one over here. I send that Marauder in. Ooh, the Zell almost gets the attack. He does get the hit. I didn't do my micro wasn't spot on at that time. With that Marauder, I'm able to just clean them up because Marauders do so much damage. Two Zealots. I don't even have Concussive Shells yet. I'm researching Combat Shield for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably just a misclick on my part. I have even more units streaming in here. I didn't even have to... I didn't have to Stutter Step at that point. He is building that Forge, but it's going to be too little too late. Try to get that Probe. He does have Stalkers out, like... Right now, just got four stalkers out and another zealot. I do have my expansion up and running, not saturated yet. This is the final battle. I do micro away from the zealot just so I don't get too many unnecessary hits. And it's just too much. Too much for the Protoss player. And GG's in capital letters. A little late on that leave, but... <laughs> They're bronze players. Yeah, see, he hasn't played in forever. Most bronze players don't play that often. I was like, this is like my last game in my epic win streak. I won like eight games in a row. And then... Then the game that I lost... <laughs> it's ridiculous. I failed Reaper Aggression. If you... By the way, if you fail at Reaper Aggression, you're basically done. Because you're so far behind. Because you invested so much into those Reapers. I even went Nitro Packs. So I have so many resources invested in those Reapers. And if your Reaper Aggression doesn't work... You're, you lose, basically. So that is it, guys. That is my ladder game. One of my better ladder games of the day. If you guys want to send in your replays so I can cast them, then just feel free to send them in at replays at brothers... No. Let me start that over again. Replays.brothersofdomino at gmail.com. Screwed up there. I'll see you guys later.